GoTV is a feature most of us use, at least occasionally. Being able to see what happened, where and why is a great function that makes CSGO feel more connected. But are we depending on it too much? It seems as time passes by, more people are being interested with the problem of cheats in the pro scene, and are using suspicious clips to back their claims. I'm no expert on demos or cheats, and won't be making or suggesting any conclusions about certain people. My schedule can show I don't have any agenda. When it comes to the problem, I've really only paid attention to Thorne talking about it, but hopefully this video could help those that are interested with the problem. The first demos are for matchmaking. Later I'll look at higher tick rates, and compare these to the previous demos. I first wanted to see any difference between a live recorded clip and a POV demo. There's probably not a difference. I zoomed in super far and did very slight movements, to see how well a POV demo could track how I moved. It did it perfectly, as I couldn't see any sort of ghosting effect, which will be the signal that a demo is off. I also did this with a very high DPI, and a very low sense, which makes the movement a lot more precise. And again, it copied it without fail. If you're curious to see how a GoTV demo handles this, consider yourself satisfied, and hopefully amused. In actual large movements, it seems like the demo is slightly off at times, and especially when it gets all laggy, but this could be because of my video editor. For the sake of being accurate, I'll be comparing live recorded clips to the GoTV 32 tick demo. We'll first go over the clips and details and what's wrong with them, and then afterwards talk about what can happen and what this means. So let's start off with our first clip, which will be synced at the first gunshot. Okay, it should be obvious there are some differences at every point in the two shots. For this clip, that's probably the most important thing to take. A minor point is that the GoTV aims seem to be a lot more steady and centered than in my actual movements, which may explain why, at least for me, aim in these always felt so different. This isn't unique. In every situation I compared, for the majority of time moving the crosshair, the area and the players around it had the gross ghosting effect. The time the crosshair moves is also different. Again, this is going to sink at the first bullet's gunshot. Hopefully, you can see the difference in timing. In fact, in GoTV, you can see little hints that you're not really seeing what is going on. In this example, the bullet lands on the wall before his crosshair gets there. In those crazy flick plays, the shooter kills the victim without even his crosshair near him. In terms of flicks and large movements, again, it's not accurate. Accurate. This clip shows how even deaths can be out of sync. The only other thing besides gunshots I assumed would be constantly matched. Or maybe they are, but it seems so strange that they're not. Even though every shot is similar in timing, the difference in deaths is quite different. Peaks aren't always terrible. It seems at least in this case that someone peeking me while I'm standing still is more accurate than the other situations. But considering in most situations no one is completely still, I doubt you can rely on peaks most of the time. In fact, there's a lot more going against peaks than going for them. As soon as I turn the corner in my POV, everything quickly gets messy, but it only gets worse. To kill the CT, I peeked, saw his head, and then killed him like normal. However, in the next clip, I played a bit differently. I pre-fired before I directly saw him. In this case, it's not suspicious in GoTV as he was brained for whatever reason. But in a similar situation where I moved the same way without him shooting, what would that look like in GoTV? Basically, it seems like demos can show someone shooting in a different place than they really were, which can lead to problems. In the next clip, my friend did the exact same movement as I did on a site, but it's a very different comparison. In the first situation like this, the POV showed a player barely charging at first, but they seemed roughly even for the first part of the peak. In this clip, the POV is way out in front, and it's the same with this situation on cash. More often than not, I think someone really peeks you before they show in GoTV. This in turn could be the reason why, when watching a demo, someone shoots you before they turn the corner. They really did show up on your screen, but in the demo it didn't show it. This also may be another reason why everyone seems to shoot faster in demos, because they really just aren't on the screen in the demo when at the time they really were, and this can feel even quicker because of humans and our limitations with anticipation. There's one last clip I want to show before I move on to the other type of demos. This clip is very strange, and is probably caused by a demo bug, but it shows that at times the large movements can be completely ignored in GoTV. What this can mean, I'm not sure. I have no experience with the inner workings of demos, so I feel super uncomfortable saying why this happened. I really don't know, and don't know any way to figure out how demos work. I would keep this in mind, but considering this only happened once in over 16 hours of comparing demos, I would keep this very far back. Well, hopefully you can agree that GoTV for matchmaking sucks as much as me, but is it because of the server and not the tick rate? I think it could be both. Not everything sent to the server is accurate, and this can be shown when we don't kill someone when we really should have. 
and it seems like major things, like where a person is, are sorted out badly in the player. Two clips at different tick rates are different. At higher tick rates of the same demo, we can see that there is a noticeable difference, and this isn't that GoTV is different every time. I found clips to be practically the same, and nowhere near as different as it was in these tick comparisons. This demo problem isn't only for matchmaking, as when I played Face It, I had the same very different movements of the mouse, and this demo was 64 tick. Well, how is a 128 tick demo then? Unfortunately, I don't have much access to getting a fair comparison for an online 120 tick GoTV server. The only place I could think of where I could compare a GoTV 120, no, whatever, to a POV demo is on ESEA or SIVO, but those places scare me too much. If someone can send me a download to both a POV and an ESEA demo, let me know. I'll make a video about it. I was able to compare an offline GoTV demo though, and the results were very surprising. It was very accurate. At times, it just kind of looked like a cool motion blur effect because of how almost synced they were. Every movement seemed very caught up, then felt like the comparison between POV and my actual screen, with just slight differences moving the mouse. Because of this, I think an online 128 tick demo will be in the middle ground, where differences can appear because of the server and how it doesn't get everything you do, so it could be a bit different from the actual location. But I suspect it will be very good with showing your mouse movements besides large flicks. But considering I don't have any footage, and I'm just basing this on what I saw before, I can't say for sure. I can't really explain much else except any questions on what I found. I don't know how demos work, and can't find a place explaining how they're able to do their magic, even though I remember seeing a long reddit post somewhere, or maybe that was in my dream. I don't know. Conclusion? The only reliable GoTV demo is an offline 128 tick, because the others have lower tick rates or they have server problems. Still, this is weird. You would expect either both offline would work as well as the original, not that a 64 tick offline demo couldn't perform on a 64 tick server, since a 128 tick demo can perform on a 128 tick server. I don't know for sure, and maybe I did this all wrong and really dumb and stupid things and I should kill my- The offline GoTVs dominate, but tick rate still plays a very large factor. I don't know how online GoTV depicts what the server really got, but I can say with confidence, GoTV is very bad at showing what the player saw. In the future, unless it's the magic offline 128 tick, I personally won't judge aim harshly, and will instead focus on my positioning and what I did to react to certain type of plays, and I should possibly go outside.